Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to downgrade to KitKat from Lollipop. So this is a highly requested video. I mean, it is requested from five members. So there are my subscribers. Obviously, you also subscribe to my channel. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to downgrade to KitKat if you're on Lollipop because Lollipop does not offer much of customizations uh, and uh, it is kind of buggy. There are bugs still. So I'm going to KitKat for Xbox Framework especially and other customizations and good multitasking so download the file in the description and uh, just place it to your PC and extract it and uh, and connect your phone to the PC and make sure enable USB debugging so I'll be, I'll be showing you all the steps so let's head up to the PC make sure you enable USB debugging by going to settings in about phone just press build number seven times and go to developer options and make sure this is enabled now just power off your phone and uh, press power button plus volume down button together for five seconds now you will be entering the bootloader mode now just connect your phone to the PC yeah just connect it and it will say USB connected and charging so uh, now in your PC so after you have connected your Moji to the PC make sure downloaded these two files and extract them to the single folder folder which is this one uh, and I've also placed ADB tools in this just to check if my phone is connected so after you have extracted them all just press uh, shift plus right click and open command window here and uh, these are the commands uh, the link is uh, these are in the description just copy them one by one copy to the command prompt and uh, paste it and just press enter and do this for all the commands till you see ok uh, it should be one by one not together and don't change the commands uh, let it be like that and after you finish all the commands uh, the phone will boot up and uh, it will work pretty fine and if it doesn't boot up uh, you, uh, please do uh, you can do it again uh, because the reboot might have failed so just flash the firmware again and you're good to go so thanks for watching guys this was the video and let me show you that i have uh, uh, already downgraded you can see i'm on chat uh, using gravity box let me show you So you can see. So thanks for watching. You will experience the screen flickering, but it can be solved out by pressing the lock button and after unlocking it. So thanks for watching.